yo, what it, what it do, man? Just my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you hear any music or anything in the background, it's not my material. Somebody else's. Just wanted to put the little disclaimer in the beginning. But yo, I ain't really been on here like that. You know what I'm saying? I guess I've been, uh, I guess so-called quarantining, but pretty much, you know what I'm saying? It's been, it's been work for me. Um, still working. I don't have no problems with it. You know what I'm saying? It's good money. But I guess I just have a different outlook on, um, like, uh, death. And I think most of this fear comes from, like, death that's going on. Like, man, look, I, I, Corona real is like, whatever. But I feel like it's so much extra shit, like, going on behind it. And it just lets me know, like, damn, how easy the world is manipulated and controlled. You know what I'm saying? Like, I work on a military base. So, it's like, we roll past the commissary. They got people on the outside, like, it's like, you know, six feet. It's a turbo line. Um, shit, Walmart the other day. Um... It's crazy because, like, they got a certain amount of people that they can let in the store at a time. They're only letting, like, three to five people at, at a time. I think it's a capacity of 1,023 people. I've seen on the computer, that's all they're allowed to let in. And they got a system where, you know what I'm saying, they can tell how many people was in the store or whatnot. So, I mean, when we was in there, it was, like, 236. But all I'm saying, man, it's like, yo, you can be what you want to be, but don't let these people control you, man. Like, I'm just saying, yo, like, the only thing that gets me is, like, my grandparents. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to stop by there yesterday and help my granddaddy out with some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I always love to see my grandpeoples because some people don't even have that option to see their grandpeoples because they did go, like, on my father's side. But, yeah, it's just a quick in my thoughts. It's just like, yo, it's dudes that you thought was... They talking about how hard they are and they do this and do that, but scary as a bitch. Like, that's what's getting me. It's like a whole bunch of scary-ass people. You know what I'm saying? Don't let this fear send you into anxiety because anxiety puts you in a place, too, where you might feel like you're sick. You know, whether it's... Whether it's population control or... Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just keep your eye open. Just be cognizant of everything around you. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You also got these conspiracy theorists people talking about microchips. Man, I heard that shit when I was in high school. You know what I mean? And it now was just coming back out and then people find it and they act like they got new information. And they, man, you put a microchip in you. Look, I had a long life. For real, for real. Been through a lot of stuff. So if it's meant for me to go, it's just meant for me to go. And some people don't understand that attitude. Like, when I say I, don't, I no fucks given, I'm not just saying it because it's a, a term or a cliche, cliche term or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying it because I really don't to a certain extent. Like, I'm not going to go do something dumb or stupid, but certain things I really just don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I've tuned out from the news for like the last two weeks and my life has been a lot better not even worrying about nothing i just read if i go in the stores oh yeah stay here six feet away or whatever oh yeah another thing like with that and i might have spoke on it but look some of y'all cashiers and shit man like that's working in these places when you telling somebody six feet or whatever even though they should be cognizant of what they're doing like watch how you say it and then these other people too, like, motherfuckers act like, you know what I'm saying, the shit gonna jump off their body onto you or something. Or when they jump back or move to the side or something, that's gonna get your ass whipped. Like, somebody gonna say something to you about that shit. Like, nah, I went to the store the other night, uh, there's a Caucasian guy, like, I just walked in the door and he jumped back. And I wanted to spring forward and punch his ass, but I was like, yo, what's the point? But if you that scared, don't come in public. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really scared of death or nothing like that. But it is what it is.
then she come outside with her little designer mask on and shit. Probably one of her boobs got it for, but I ain't gonna be saying much, y'all. You know. Excuse me for a second, y'all. Exactly. Hey, love. What's up, you getting there? No, I ain't with all that. <laughs> I mean, I already told the people you was coming outside with your little designer mask. One of your boobs probably got you or something. And you know it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna say hi to the camera. What up, people? Yeah, everybody, in case you didn't know, this, this is my lady. One of her, one of her rare, one of her rare appearances. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She working her little senior citizen hair and shit. It's cute, but... You know, I guess she felt a certain way when she got it because she sitting there like, just because I didn't say anything about it and everybody else was, you know what I'm saying? Look, the boy is sitting right there. And you ain't let me put my seatbelt on. He's trying to get me... Yo, go ahead you know, and put that on. Trying to get me popped and shit. Yo, watch the, watch the language, man. <laughs> oh, you know yeah, what I'm I saying? <laughs> Can't have too much cursing, though. It ain't going to get monetized if I get to that point. <sighs> Damn, they gonna pick her ass up in a second. <laughs> she walking like she doped up on the stroll. But yeah, y'all, that's all I wanted to talk about is the, you know what I'm saying? The, look at this fool sitting next to me. <laughs> but that's all I wanted to talk about, you know. Because at work today, they told us if we're gonna be in the trucks, we gotta wear a bandana or something across your face. And that's something else I've been saying that I thought was kind of neat. All of the people that's just putting whatever on their damn face just because. I seen a picture with the two old senior citizens that had like maxi pads on their face. What the hell? They put strings on them. You know what I'm saying? Some other, some other dudes out here with just plastic on their face. I'm like, man, look. You know what I'm saying? If I get it, I'm going to just quarantine myself. I got my lady, kids around. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. But, I mean, I've been watching my hand sanitizing. Whatever. But yeah, man, just putting some content out for y'all. If you got any questions or anything like that, do it in the comments. Anything you would like me to talk about to, you know what I'm saying, get out so we can have debates and stuff like that, just go ahead and comment. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. We can get it ready, you know. But just my thoughts. Um, y'all be safe out here.